Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. Okay, so this is a Sea of Stars, and hear me out. Um, the overlay doesn't really work in this game, so I'm gonna have to make do with something else. I am going to make a new configuration, though. I'm, I have it open on a different window, so I can just go to it. It's, it's right here. Uh, I'll just, uh... Let's use an empty one. Basically, this game has two modes. Combat and the rest. Um, let's go up to the tutorial. So first off, we're going to use a mouse. Mm hmm Hello. I use the DVD. Anything else? Nope, oh, that's fine. And softball is the click. Right. Now as far as I could tell, this is really all I need in this game, but we'll just keep going and adding things as, as to come. Welcome to humanity's new home world and your base of operations. Click on the window to continue. Right. Your starship appears as an icon. Please click it. Uh, I should have Jaro. Mouse off. Roll. This screen displays all weapon systems and systems installed. This was ID slot. Click on your weapon ready to continue. The set of available weapons and other systems at your home world changes over time. Okay, upgrade to my god's cannon. To continue. It is done. New share starship holes are sometimes available. Let's upgrade all. Larger starship holds over better armor and more weapon slots and system slots and alright. Upgrade to Gravette. When a location offers loaded options, you can also access the available items by clicking the standard items button. Standard items. Click on the icons to see more information. And drag one into the empty weapon slot aboard your ship. Click on the trade button. Simply drag one of the items into an empty item slot. Gonna take that one as well. Click anywhere on the screen to dismiss the ship. Click on source the information about each star system. I click the aim button. And click the engage button to travel there. You have found an item you can take. Try to get to your cargo hold. Cool. As you explore stars, there are, they are highlighted in green and connect with a line that shows your flight path. Please continue to the next star, which is here. I think there's a way to rotate as well. But, uh, Softball, right click. Right. There it is. Yeah, yeah rotation. Is engage. A nebular sled drive. Drag item into onto your ship icon. Another star has been enabled. There's an unknown spaceship at this location. In order to investigate, drag and drop your ship into the radar map. Garthen, a large carnivorous, cold-blooded lizardoid. Physically very strong and tough, but somewhat slow. As warriors and slave lords, they demonstrate their violent tendencies with religious fervor. The end have something to tell you, and as usual, it's nothing good. 
Dismiss the message to continue. You are fools. She went to Garth and Red Zone. This is Garth in space always. In combat we need you. You better we crush you and destroy your pitiful ship. You can move and rotate the map by holding the left and right buttons. Zoom in out with the mouse wheel. Oh, might as well add that, I guess. Uh, so, I don't actually usually put that there. I put that here. There's a D-pad thing. Zoom in. Zoom out. And add turbo on them as well. There. Perfect. Zoom in and out. Another important feature is fleeing. Drag your ship. That's... Back into the deploy box. And there it goes. After a ship has finished fleeing, it becomes available for deployment again. Simply drag and drop it back onto the map. Before you continue the combat by clicking resume, practice by giving orders. Click your ship to select drag it to give it movement orders. And click the enemy to target it. Press space to pause and resume. We'll just add space as well. Yeah, that works, that's fine. Victory! I've defeated my first enemy. Now let's explore the system and see what you find on the planet. Just... All this, this entire planet. It only has this guy. Which, to be fair, I guess... Makes sense. It's not a lot of land here. You've added a fighter to your flotilla. Click the ship... Icons? Or press number keys. No, I think... I think you can have five. So I'm gonna have to take a figure something on that. Uh, I mean, this one isn't doing anything right now, so I might as well make this a radio menu. Activation always on. Always available. One. Two, three, four, five. And we'll see if I need more than that. Come on, I don't to your flotilla. All right. <coughs> and the star has been enabled. Um, here. Ackroyd. For this encounter, let's send Ricar Ripcord O'Reilly and his fighter to take a look. This is the boy in the radar map. Backdraft are more autonomous than ships. They are governed by the only eye. However, you can select the fighter and then click on the enemy to target him. Let's see what he does. Terribly, I can tell you that much. <laughs> we scan you. You are foolish invaders. We relish your destruction. You are no match to our might. You are helpless monkey men. Our warriors probably slew you. Slay you. Alright, Giggle Boy. When a fighter is cr critically damaged, it escapes so it can be repaired later. This enemy seems too much for us. Might as well escape. When one of your ships is damaged, an icon slashes red. In your ship's view, its armor and any damage distance will be shown. Just armor, I guess. Don't play with the click. You guys escape for combat, you must leave the star system. Look at any star. Let's go to glory. That's the tutorial. Alright, so. Um. Let's see, I was right about that. So we can have. Uh, 
Yeah, five ships. Right. Don't worry about that. So this game is actually a roguelike. Um, hang on. Captain... Hanson. Aldrin, Lovell, Murphy, Collins. The Starship Dragon. Uh, Mirage, because of course. Captain. Devious. Alright. A scout, a service ship, or a corvette. Oh, let's go to corvettes. Strength low, level density low, continue. The deal! Lexter Mucron, infamous Tiberian moonshine baron and interplanetary gangster, has agreed to fund your expedition for a cut of the profit. Oh. Your mission? Explore Sector Prime and grab anything valuable before a space your time runs out. So am I an explorer or. Okay, let's see what I got. Guns. Drives. No shields, so I got a shield. Detect starships by their energy signature at a range of two parsecs by filtering out star and galactic background noise with powerful hyperwave radio sweeps. Okay, I know that's gonna help, then. Let's trade. Oh. Oh, hyperdrive. I don't have money for it, though. Cargo ho! Passengers. Messages. No messages. I might as well, I guess. Let's go, what the hell's going on here? Unexplored. That's clearly incorrect. I found a hyperdrive filter array. I found a, another radar array. Can I go ahead and grab that? Oh, okay, I think. A lot of places I need to go, huh? Arc. It's a Klingon. Or, uh, not Klingon. Klakar. The avians seek trade, not war. As a custodian of interstellar commerce that perfect goods to many races, but hard to get. Man, this music is weird. As they have for thousands of generations. We, the exalted Klinikar, wish to parley with your humble race. We offer worthy goods and services in trade for technology, artifacts, and life forms. The summon is at any time. We let the trade begin. Cool. Mega Amoeba. Sure, I guess. This thing is disturbing. I guess it's worth money. There's a lot of ships. The council has decided. Ulkwai, a large luminescent hemispheric of floaters who feed on fear and death. Physically weak, they are natural space navigators due to their aquatic hardships. No harm is meant. We wish to commune with you and your chair colors. Music and peace in the galaxy. Our way is kindness to not fear is for one's last embrace. Got it. Goodbye. Ooh, Nebula. Proton Blaster. Fellow. Uh, 
let's check out a good Neptune real Neptune real gun. Short range real gun. And an impaler missile rack. I also have this one. Mini range gun. Sure. Bustard. Ooh, a multiple repair drone. Let me go ahead and sell some things though. Is that working? I don't know if that's working. Oh, I have credit. Plasma cannon. Electron accelerator beam. Alright, that looks good. Is this this? <laughs> Heavens, Haven Station at the Glory System now offers the following ship hall. Turn for good. Really now. Man, they really suck. The Corvette, advanced Corvette. Ah, Muktian, highly intelligent yellow slug-like beings. Muktians usually spend their long lives deep on the ground. An explorer has to have returned to the surface and recently developed space trouble. Beware, this earth system is an off-limits outsider. That way, protect our properties with force. Even now, our mighty armaments train upon your starship. Proceed at your own risk. Alright, bye. So, what is that about ships? Glory, right? A Garth and Scout! Oh. Not fine. Captain Gorgar of the Rovet Bloodfang wishes to join your flotilla. A death pact of loyalty for useful booty. Drop an item into this window. Sure thing. Oh, this window. <coughs> he is pleased with my choice. Except. This has been done. I have a mercenary. I'll equip this though. What do you want? I wonder if I should have an escape button as well. Wouldn't hurt. So that. The fusion tube thruster. He's got a shield, I need mean, better. He's got weapons. Not a great one, though. I have. What do they have? I don't know if I should give this one to a fighter. It would be hilarious, though. For a meteor gun. gun. That one's pretty good. I'll give it to him. Ah, so that's what escape does. No, no, no not doing that. 
the Great Hall. Let's see what we got. So forget any good. The forget sacrifices cargo space and speed for additional weapons and armor. Advanced Corvette. Oh, that's cheap. Not as well. And uh, no upgrades for you. All right. Uh, sure. Ooh, you have discovered a black hole. It may be dangerous to stay in this trajectory. Right, let's go back. The advance for good. I mean, I can just go somewhere else. I don't. All right, never mind then. Congratulations, Captain! You've made it to the happy point of your trip. Mr. Zank and little Big Tony are incredibly impressed. Can I tell you who are they for now? Let's just call them sponsors. Cool. Large sandstorm structures are alien birthing creatures, etched cuneiform markings worn of hatching of a lesser swarm of ravenous insectoids from another star. This could be important, so the data transmitted to glory of further study. Neat. Oh. Clever filter that she is has ransacked the cargo hold and made her escape. It is likely that the explosive shell chain gun is halfway across the sector by now. Well, that's not good. Hmm, yeah. That was really not good. I think. It wasn't in my cargo hold. It wasn't my cargo hold. Alright, give me here. Oh, rock people. Churak, a large, thick skinned septipi of average intelligence. Physically very tough, Churak eats visible materials in the rain fact. Living nuclear power plants. Hell worlds are the natural habitat. Cold mechanism without meaning. Abomination, parasite, remove. Alright, don't want to kill it. Worth trying, I guess. Well, he's dead. There we go. Oh well, that was a good run, I guess. I might give it another try at some point. This is a good stopping point.